Finding something to get your disgusting family members and friends around the holidays can sure be a tough goose to crack. But hey, art is the name and that's my game. Don't feel shame ever again. Ah, geez. Anytime I talk about the holidays and don't refer to the C word by name, the being returns. I will not. I cannot. We won't let the terrorists win, will we, folks? This is not ideal. But it will not deter me from my mission. I care about you more than I fear the being. Welcome to Art Explained, the show where I explain art. My name is Michelle, and oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, are you perchance in need of some jolly advice? Stumped on what to get your significant other this year? At Art Explained, we hope to help all the little boys and goyles out there by listing some of the best artworks on Etsy. Let's dive in, shall we? Vroom vroom, what's that sound? That's the sound of artistic success. Just gather your attention around this lime green figure, seated in what looks like a full-scale representation of an Austin mini car. I can almost taste it. This iconic car represents 1960s British culture and has been seen in several film adaptations, including Michael Caine's classic, The Italian Job. But I wonder about this piece. I can see right through it, but I'm not certain if I truly see what the artist sees. Let's see what the artist has to say about the piece. The description reads thus. The wired realization all in transparency reflected the spirit of freedom and innovation that initiated this auto. This is the driver which is too large, or the car is really too mini. You know, sometimes I don't feel like I truly fit in. This work, it speaks to my inner dummy and the skeletal shell that it inhabits. And the price is the best part. It's a measly $34,875.05. What a steal. If I were to recommend you to a similar artist's work, I would recommend United Kingdom-based artist Benedict Radcliffe. His steel sculptures of vehicles such as Ferraris, taxicabs, and motorcycles are designed using digital tools like CAD and virtual blueprinting software. Well, hello, little guy. What can I say about you? According to artists Betsy Youngquist and R. Scott Long, this artwork called Geo is part of a series of monkeys that was created years ago and bought by a delightful collector who recently passed on. His estate returned the monkey sculpture back to the artist who is now reselling it once more. Will you be its next victim? The construction of the piece sure is peculiar. It includes a myriad of mediums such as antique dental samples whose mysterious provenance causes me to scratch my head. Tempted by this lovely morsel, the piece is a simple $1,900. Another worthwhile work by these same artists is Gargoyles, which costs $11,000. Intricate and sweet and studded, this work asks about morality. In the description it reads, He yearns to be understood as a friend, not a foe, and wants to believe that about himself as well. Am I bad? Am I good? Questions most of us have pondered about ourselves. I would wonder the same things about myself but your conventional, pathetic rules of morality don't apply to me. Uh, Occupado. Okay, okay. Please allow me to formally apologize. I'm going to leave you alone. Gonna leave this place. Feel free to enjoy the rest of your holiday, madame. Well, that's a relief. I thought we were never gonna get out of here. Okay. Time to leave. Hopefully the being is as honest as the legends say. had you this time, didn't I? You were not even close, sir. Okay, please, please give me a chance. My wife and kids won't talk to me anymore. I have nothing. That does not sound like a problem of mine. Okay, look in front of me. Tell me what you see. I promise this will make it up to you. It's a living. That's what I imagine this headstrong hog saying. I wish to cry for this pig. I wish to weep. Why? 
because as indicated by both the title and the visual hierarchy of this piece, the pink boy is on the bottom of the power scale. It does not lead a free life. Instead, it is merely a vehicular companion for a small green chap. I yearn for this happen and hog to be free. In a perfect world, we would be together, unburdened by our horrific obligations. If you, too, are hypnotized by the pork product, might I recommend gazing upon the works of Sergei Isipov. This Russian-born artist has crafted a portfolio of sculptures that also balance man's relationship with nature. Here are a few of my favorite works of his. If you are intrigued enough to crave the unique Etsy sculpture for your abode, you must supply $270. Chop Chop Money Bags. This bright bucolic painting depicts an alien, a human-faced tree, and a group of children who are arranged in such a way that it resembles the transitions from the prestigious Animorph series. It looks like a surrealist dream from a child, and indeed, it was born from a dream. According to the artist, the image itself was inspired by an actual dream I had in which children were carving the face of man into a tree, and he was coming to life and speaking to them as parts of his face took form. Sometimes when I have dreams, ideas are born from them, but I usually forget the dreams soon after waking, and the ideas die as all things do. There is something riveting about this painting. Perhaps it is the blank stares of the children and nature itself that beguiles me. Or maybe it is the lone alien creature that stands there, gazing into my soul. It looks at me as if it knows me, but do I know it? Does it know me? Yes, I do. His name is Gibo. If you two are intrigued by this painting, the price total is $6,500. It's never too late to refinance your mortgage with your 401k retirement bail bond stock buyback from the Federal Reserve. I hear their interest rates are to die for. Get that art any way you can, Stan. This statue is like if Donatello's David had a baby with Frank the Rabbit from Donnie Darko. Eerie, dark, Life, enigmatic, and victorious. The title, Bunny Slayer One, is defined in the Etsy description as a type of woman who is trained to defend a populace while wearing the suits of slain Thank Tar, which are enormous carnivorous bunnies that terrorize the territories. Storytelling sure is fun, and I admire this artist for their imagination. I can't help but to think what a delightful conversation we would have together. The Dow sure is doing well, and so am I. Mighty good Dow we're having today. Is your 401k going strongly? Well, then you better go catch it. For $6,600, this lovely statue can be yours. Oh my. This final Etsy artwork that I have included in this roundup truly is a well-constructed masterpiece. If the world were to be destroyed and only this artwork were to remain, I believe it could truly stand cheek to cheek in prominence with classics like the Venus of Willendorf. If you two are tickled by this work, the price is at a meager $55.01. What a perfect price for spicing things up. Okay, don't you think you've been stalling long enough? I took a lot of time out of my day to pick this out and just, just open it and I'll leave, I promise. I feel as if I should not give you what you want but your voice and general speech pattern irritates me greatly. I'm not doing this because I feel any sympathy for you and your family that hates you whatsoever. It's probably for good reason. I just wish for you to leave. Open Susan. After all that we have been through together, after all that I have said about you, I may have to reconsider. This is a beautiful offering, and I accept it wholeheartedly. See, that's the lesson here after all. Don't be so judgmental, especially around the holidays when tensions are naturally running high. It's always the thought that counts. You will not be providing the lesson here. I will be providing the overarching message and purpose at the end. This is not your job. It is not the thought that counts. That's what I think of your thoughts. 
Got anything to say about that? Well, I guess that's it then. Hey, now how did you get back here? Thank you for watching Art Explained, and a big thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the little bell thingy while you're at it. Thank you and goodbye forever.